Good morning from Thailand, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Yasu Thara Siripa p r a p a k o n from m a h a c h u l a l o n g k o n Rajwithyalaya, with my friend Surya k r a n g r i t from Mahidol University, and Dr. k r e g w o o d Kantiang from Rajmangala University of Technology, s i v i c h a i We are from Thailand. Today we would like to take a few minutes of your time to talk uh, about our people titles on the traditional belief in peace spirit of Thai g o i n g peoples in s u r i n Province, Thailand. We a l n e t before begins our presentation. We would love to explain our feelings for gratefulness to Northern Illinois. University in the U.S. for accept our paper and give us the opportunity for presentation today. Thank you so very much. Okay, now the presentation will presented by Surya k r a n g r i t Free enjoy. Let's go to the presentation. So I'm going to talk about the traditional beliefs in peace spirit of Thai g u i people in the Sri Province of Thailand. So Thai g u i So this is like a, um, this is the outline of my presentation. I'm going to be talk about the introduction and cultural identities of Thai g u i people, the traditional beliefs of peace or spirit, and peace spirit related to way of life. And the influence and roles of peace v e r y to the way of life, and then it will be conclusion. So let's go into talk. I'm going to talk about yes. The first in the picture here is uh, the picture of Thailand in the map of Thailand, and you can see here on the right hand side, my hand is about the in Surin Surin province and Surin map, and you can see the sub district or uh, the just district inside where uh, the ethnic group located in. Okay, let's see. Here is about the Thailand is one of the country in South Asia with m a r r i a g e form of cultural heritage due to its long history and the ethnic and religious diversity of past and present inhabitants. So, s u r i n p r o v i n c e is in the like in the northeastern region of or i s a n with many people refer to the southern people like the s u r i n e s So the province is the home of the people from different ethnic groups, such okay, so as Khmer people, Lao, and g u i people. So, like the famous for the silk textile and silverware production. So, I'm going to show you the evidence in the provincial motto, like uh, it's called, it's a Surin, the land of big elephants, splendid silk, beautiful silver bead, many ancient temples, sweet radish. Fragrance, right beauty, together with culture. So here is a display in s u r i n And I is going to be like uh, talk a bit, a little bit. I'm going to talk a little bit about the s u r i n Like in the area here, you can see s u r i n is in like uh, in the northeastern province of Thailand or i s a n Like I told you before, it's a four four hundred seventy kilometer from Bangkok. So the area is a 8,124 square kilometer, and d i v i d e into the seven district. Uh huh. And then it's like a m e a n g district, c h u m p o n p a t u m j o m p a Prasad, k a p c h e n g r a t n a b u r i s a n o m s i k o r a p u m s a n g k a s a m r o n g t h a p b u c h e t l a m d u n s i n a r u n g p a n o m d o n g r a k and k w a s i n a r i n So the g u i and ethnic groups settle along and. The Mekong River near uh, Dung Rak Mountain. They specialize in capturing elephants to use in domestic animal. Like uh, you see, like I I assure you here, it's about uh, Thai. That I talking to about the Thai Kui people. Here's the picture of the Thai Kui people. You can see, like uh, this is the uh, the way they they dress, the way they look like for the woman and for the man. So see the way in in uh, the, the traditional dress of the Gui people who live in the area in the in, in Surin province. 
So, like in the song, Viola said that during both trips are set down and broadly the same time as the Khmer Empire for long times ago, mm -hmm. and it was established the subsequent fall in Khmer Empire affected Surin, which was abandoned for this for three centuries. So the accumulation for ethnic groups like a Lao, Khmer people and Gui. So Luang Surin Park be encouraged the developments of Surin city like in our seventy and sixty seven. Uh huh. And that's why. Okay. Okay. Like I'm to talk about uh, that I told you before in Surin, there are, there are three ethnic groups who live in the Surin province. So the Gui people, like uh, who stay in Surin, they are living. They are living in the area or in many districts that I told you before. But right now, but you can see not just only in, in Thailand, you can see the Gui people in Laos, PDR and in Cambodia, in some provinces they have the Gui, so many groups, uh, so many people, uh, and I mean like a Gui any group in, in, in the area, so like in, in, in the big big area of Southeast Asia, especially in three countries in here. But for in Thailand, they say in the south of Isan, like in the Surin province, so in the living in the area of uh, in many districts around Surin province, so like a, I'm pretty sure example like in Paklang village at Tadum district, uh -huh. and then village, we call the Pum district, and Pakin village in Samlung Tap district, and then here is a, a big group. So I, I, if, I, if we say about the Gui and ethnic groups, we can say that Gui people, they are also Asiatic ethnic groups or traditional Mon Khmer language group or family. So they have their own language, they have their own culture, and they have their own identity. As you can see the picture here, they, in the way they dress, uh, and the, the way they, 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 what they have is like they capture an elephant, they feed an elephant for in the way of life, uh, for the working and so on, something like that. This is the, the cultural identity or ethnic identity of the Kui people in the area. So. Mm -hmm. the, the, the husband. I would say that in the Gui people here, if we talk about the cultural identity of Gui Thai Gui people, we can say that Thai Gui people they settle in southern of Isan in Surin province, and the ethnic group have to practice. You know, the the ethnic or the ethnic groups or the way of life. They have set their own identity that I told you before, custom, tradition, and belief. But the, the most important thing for the ethnic groups, they have their traditional belief or the belief in the spirit of peace that I, I try to explain today and specific and explain more about this. So, if I say that mm -hmm. the ethnic group have like a the group practice. The ethnic groups had practiced and keep their traditional beliefs and rituals, especially the beliefs in the power of spirit, right? And they will um, mastery on nearly thousand years. Their beliefs are still present in our modern society. Their beliefs are they believe in the supernatural power is still obviously present and has become a part of the ritual, process, component, and the pattern. So P is one of the human beliefs. And that began in distant past. P is an invisible object and has powerful effect and play virtual roles in the people. Moreover, the beliefs in P is also found in the other traditional ethnic groups as well in Surin Province, like in Lao or in Khmer ethnic groups. They also have the same, but a similar uh, traditional belief as well. So, what I want to say that the belief is expressed in many ways of ethnic group. This belief explains the uniqueness of cultural identity of Thai Gui people, especially the traditional belief system of the ethnic groups of P, being a spirit as invisible object with the power to bring about good and bad happening to people. So, people worship spirit with their expect safety for themselves, family, and the community. So right here, you can see PR the various places at the, in the big tree in century 
concentric sites in river by this belief it became to it became the idea to build garden spirit houses for San Buddha for for the spirit to live in okay like you see for Thai Pui people they have beliefs in so there are many kind of the spirit both good and bad so in terms of the general belief system it is an uh, interesting so our subject that to study about and explain how and why the roles of belief has affected to the way of life of the people, especially in the traditional ethnic groups or queer people. Uh -huh. So this is a this is a picture that I try to show you is about a P here. Is it like the, the, the terms of like uh, the beliefs in P belief and ritual, the belief in spirit especially the belief in the power of the spirit which inherited from generation to generation with uh, with uh, the ethnic groups from many thousand years here is this like uh, the places where the good people they kept their the item some sacred item or the spirit in is it like a uh, san buddha or the house of spirit uh -huh. and then you can see this kind of the how they built a house for the spirit and this is the place for the spirit to give in uh huh. It's just something like that. This is kind of the the way they're thinking, the way they believe. As I told you before, cultural identity of Thai good people in here. And so the belief in P that I talk in here, especially beliefs in power of the spirit, is inherited from generation to generation within ethnic groups. Although the exact time is unknown, but some scholar believe that. Thai food people have been living in the Sioux province for thousands of years. The root of the belief in the spiritual power of the P, or as we call animism. The Thai of spirit is cultural, of cultural or ethnic, ethnic identity in the way of life of the Kui people and the ideology and cosmology. So the identity of the Kui people can be divided as a, one is the guardian spirit for the family to protective spirit in houses and workplace and the third one is good is good or good and evil spirit in the other places so these beliefs it related to the way of life of the gooey people and so the belief in the p of the thai gooey people is a pattern of the cultural relationships inhabitation causes change with finally became the cultural identity of the Kui ethnic groups that I told uh, that as I mentioned before this term is became to be cultural identity of Thai Kui people or Kui ethnic groups so uh -huh. let's go on to the next if I talking about the traditional beliefs in P or spirit like uh, uh, the importance of the belief in the, is called is caused by the fear of by the fear and uncertain, uncertainty of life that based initially on the fear of supernatural power, invisible object, secret things, and controlling power and superstition. So the belief of P became a cultural identity or traditional of Thai Kui people. The way of life is influenced and P is relied upon especially for the productivity of agriculture. So the people respect and also accept the P into the other parts of the, the life as encouragement and reliable sacred item because P has this potential power. And so P can bring people good and bad effects. By this belief, the P will be worshipped and with their expectation of their health and protection. <laughs> Some P has the power of the treatment for the rare illness. So the mighty spirit will be invited to treat the people, such as in the Gilmore ritual. So the P is present in many forms, such as like in, in the perception, the, the form as a god, angel, or invisible power. So the traditional belief has been strongly accept, accepted and becomes to be belief system. That are talking those kind of the belief have driven the good people or good ethnic groups in many ways of life. 
like a general living, traveling, safety inhabitants, prosperity, and agricultural or overall productivity. So the traditional acceptance in the power of P has been believed from generation to generation of the present time. The expression of the lips still can be found nowadays. And even though there are modern way of life with many convention devices, so the belief become to be a ritual followed by its procedural components and pattern. The I mean like uh, the traditional beliefs of P in the Thai language, in Gui language they call Gomoi, or in Thai language they call P is uh, the meaning is the spirit or like uh, the holy things or the ghost. Some people say the ghost, okay? So in the Gui ethnic groups can divide into three aspects. So one is became is became from traditional conceptual thinking of spirit or animism that I talk with you is a is about the spirit and to the ritual derived from beliefs are following by its pattern, procedure and component. They have all these elements or like a components in the beliefs. And the third one it is an assimilation or traditional belief animism and Brahmanism or the ritual, which is true in the spiritual beliefs and and ritual, a control in the ritual. So the belief of spirit is, is expressed by their local language, I told you, Gomo or P in Thai language, which communicate through the spirit and showing their respect, worship, and belief in the power of the spirit, like a supernatural power of superstition. So these are the type of the traditional belief or P that I, I told you in the mention here, P believes in the one to three. Okay, I'm gonna say. The other type of traditional belief of peace or spirit. The first one, for example, that one is a yachui frame. It is a pi or buddha. Like it, it's a one. It's a, a type of the spirit or buddha who protect the village and place or the community for peacefulness or prosperity. It's the one. Uh -huh. And you can see here in the picture. Okay. And the second one is about the, it's mean like uh, the worshipping will take place two times a year for the community, including the third and the sixth months of the year. Uh, this is for the community. So the second one is a Yachu Doom. It's mean like uh, the Doom in in Gui language, it means the house. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Yachu Doom is a guardian spirit who protects the house and family member, the worshipping will be held on the special occasion of the family, such as a marriage, marriage, blessing, and new house welcoming ceremony. So this spirit is a respect as an ancestor spirit. It's a, you can you see that the second one is the spirit for the house protection, something like that. So for what and then for what the group any group doing for worshipping is called this is a Gui language. The meaning is a ritual to worship spirit for the asking for protecting a group of the people and offering will be prepared at Buddha house to provide to the spirit. Uh -huh. And you can see in the picture here, the offerings think that they, they do it as a ritual to offering to the spirit their respect or something like that. Mm -hmm. And Okay, let me check. Okay, thank you. I guess so. Mm -hmm. so I, I would say you're an important. You can say that in important roles. So I, I'm going to talk about the, an important and importance and roles of the beliefs in P or spirit. Like you say to the way of life. There, as, mm, as, 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 as I told you that, Good people they believe in the special power of the P could enlighten the believer, bring safety, inhabitants, prosperity, and peacefulness. This belief leads the people to make an action and to or reflect by physical and mental expressions, such as doing ritual and worshiping to pay respect and offering to the spirit. Those are an important and roles of the beliefs in P of Thai people based on traditional beliefs in the spirit and ritual. 
and it is become and uh, like uh, uh, I, I said before it, it has be become an identity of Thai Guru people as a traditional with affected to or influence to the way of life of the Guru ethnic group for example like girl the, the, an, the ancestor spirit must be informed of a marriage in your family and then the second one the spirit retrieving ceremony is practiced to treat people who are ill and modern medicines could not apply the course and the ceremony is aimed to console the illness people like at they call Quan to ask the ancestor spirit for help uh -huh. And the third one, like uh, the guardians of spirit, must be informed of their ordination ceremony for family member to bless all member, especially for prosperity and for the surest to the merit, something like that. And for an unknown, the unknown spirit worship in Gelmo Rito, the ritual for communication with ancestor spirit is aimed through the worshiping the ancestor spirit by inviting to the spirit to join the ceremony so the ritual is, pra is pra practiced annually and spirit dancing uh, and offering and offering are provided like uh, we give something for the worship to give a uh, special thing to the uh, to the spirit uh, I mean the, the thing that we respect so this is called dialogue uh, this is what we call the influence and the roles of the peace of spirit to the way of life of good people right and then this one is about I'm going to talk about the conclusion that it's like a traditional beliefs in peace or the power of the spirit has been believed and respect for many generations so this ritual belief was inherited from generation to generation until the present so for expression the expression of the belief still can be found in our day even the modern way of life and the many convention are her get 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 something like that and then the beliefs become the ritual followed by the procedural component and patterns of the tradition belief of p or of the gui ethnic groups so like i told you it can be the one in the three aspects like animism and then ritual as a its pattern, procedure, and component, and about the beliefs are combination of the tradition, belief, animism, and Brahmanism. I mean, the spirit and the ritual, with spread in the area, in the combination with spiritual beliefs and ritual as well. So, the belief are, is expressed by the local or language, like a Kui language, which is used to communicate with the spirit showing their respect, worship, and belief in supernatural power. So the belief in spirit and ritual become an identity of Thai Kui people as tradition with affected to the way of life of ethnic groups. So the influence and the rules of the belief in P is related to the way of life of the people in like a marriage for the healing and for the ceremony and for the ordinary or something like that, like a guardian spirit. For blessing or, or anything especially in like girl if if, if I like uh, to to sum up in here I can talk a little bit just for it like girl uh, I need the people like uh, the other group not just only good people for the other traditional any group and they have the beliefs in spirit or animism to I need the other who someone who are of their culture to understand deeply to to the spirit in the way they're thinking the ideology or cosmology in the spirit. Why the spirit have affected to the way of life of the people in here? Because they have like they have the mechanism uh, for the controlling the people who lead the action to be as a controlling the behavior of the people to show some in the terms of the we can say like a uh, social norm with the people to make connection the human to the human and connection with human to the superstition like a supernatural power and that is for they have the they have become the identity of the good people 
that they have the meaning inside of in their belief, not just just like uh, I don't want to be people say say that or think that it's useless thing, but this in terms of the belief, in terms of the meaning, they still be with the people who have positive way or affection to the physical and mental health or body and mind of the ethnic groups of the people. That's what I want to share with you today. So I would like to say um, thank you so very much for your time and listening. So I am very happy to to ask you a question if you have or any question and you can send me by email and I have to say thank you so very much and thank you in IU. Thank you.